Happy Pride Columbus. I'm Kelly Yeager, President of the Board of Trustees of Stonewall Columbus. Not only am I a President of the Board, I'm also a very active member in the Pride Committee. While other cities are facing some economic hard times and they're unable to have their festivals this year, Stonewall Columbus is a very welcoming, very thriving city that not only are we having our annual celebration, but we've also extended it to two days, which is huge. I am so excited. We have so much in store for you. We welcome everybody from the Midwest. If you can get here, come on in. We've got a welcoming, wonderful city for you. We also get the honor of starting from the State House. The parade will step off at one o'clock um, from the State House, which is a huge honor. It is a huge, huge honor. I will be there um, helping step off the parade. If you come down, have any questions, there's going to be several of us in volunteer shirts ready to help you and ensure that you have a really good visit to Columbus. Or if you're already from Columbus, we're going to ensure that once again you have a really good time with us. Along those lines, we have to go into the rules. It's part of the, it's part of the territory. Uh, if you're participating in the parade, whether you're in an organized walking group, a float, or if you're just walking, we have a few rules that we need to kind of go over. Um, one of which I can't stress enough, you cannot have alcohol on your float, on your person, or anything while you're participating in the parade. Along those same lines, well, kind of different lines, but along the same lines, if you have some fun stuff for your organization that's participating in the parade, that's great if you want to hand it out, but please don't throw anything from your float. Don't throw anything from your walking groups or anything like that. It's a big no-no. And it could be a little bit of a health hazard, I guess, if you get hit in the head with a keychain. I don't know. Anyway, um, the third point I wanted to bring up real quick that we hate to talk about are the protesters. I hate talking about them because I hate giving them any more energy than they need to have. Um, if you encounter any protesters, the best thing to do is just turn your back and ignore them. They want to get you fired up. They want to rile you up and drain your energy. When I think our energy is best spent for celebrating who we are, where we've come from, and where we have yet to go. So don't even, don't even pay them any attention. Just ignore them. Now, we get the honor of taking off from the State House, and for the first time, we have a huge honor as well. It's a big honorable year this year. We have the honor of having our Pride Festival at Goodale Park. It is a beautiful residential park. Um, the Victorian Village Society has welcomed us with open arms, which says a lot because they don't just they don't just let anybody come down there and celebrate. So along those you know, along the lines with that, we have some things that we want to do because they were kind enough to let us come down and celebrate Pride. We want to kind of get, extend the thank you by respecting, respecting the park, respecting the area. Um, we have a green committee in place this year, so there will be plenty of trash receptacles. There will be um, recycle, recycle cans available. We're having a bike corral this year, so if you can't make it to the state house but you want to come down to the festival, ride your bike. Come on down. We've got a safe place for you to keep your bike. Um, also, smokers, bag the butts. We're going to have to make sure that the way I like to look at it is we're going to come down there. We are going to have one heck of a great time and when we leave you're not even going to know we were there. We want to be as respectful as possible. Like I was always taught in with camping, you pack in, you pack out. Kind of the same philosophy here is what we're looking at. So Keeping all of that stuff in mind, I look forward to seeing every single one of you down at Pride this year. Remember, Pride starts Friday at 5 o'clock. We have great concerts in store for, you, for the men and the women, Friday at 5 to 11. Saturday, the park opens up at 11. The parade steps off from the State House at 1 o'clock. And keeping just a few minor rules in mind, let's all get together and have a good time and celebrate freedom and celebrate who we are where we've come from and where we have yet to go.